Veteran Fever point guard Breon January, we were just talking about this. One of the most amazing stats, I think, of any player in this league. You enter year seven here, and you've been in the playoffs every single year. Yeah. I, I mean, it's every year we set the goal of making it to the to the championship. And for, fortunate for me, we've had an amazing team with amazing coaches, and has, it's allowed us to be successful and get to the Eastern Conference Finals, you know, six of the seven years, and to the playoffs all seven of those years, and hopefully we can continue that. Yeah, I mean, she made her debut in the WNBA in 2009. You go to the WNBA Finals. Yeah. I mean, that, that was something special, and now you've been in three finals. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Not many rookies get to start their career by going to a finals and being able to actually play. And that was a huge learning experience for me. And once I got a taste of that, I just, you know, nothing else quite did it. So we, I mean, every year we work our tails off to get back to that position. And, you know, we've done it a few times already. I know a lot of Fear fans are wondering to what you can say. How are you feeling physically? Because I know you're dealing with an injury. I'm feeling great. Um, this injury was really a blessing in disguise. My body had taken a, taken a lot of pounding through, you know, overseas and then going into the season we had last year and just logging a lot of minutes. And so it was nice for me to finally let my body rest, recover. I got to build strength in every other area of my body and my knee is feeling good. You know, I'm on the court doing a lot of things and, you know, steadily working on that progression and doing it the right way. You know, you've heard those horror stories about people coming back early on microfracture surgery and I don't want to be one of those. So our staff here has just done a tremendous job of taking me through it. Bree, you guys are all about winning championships, and you've won one, been to two other WNBA finals, but this is a little bit of a transition year leadership-wise. You've been a leader, but you've got one more year with the consummate leader in Tamika Catchings. What have you learned from her? What do you hope to learn from her this year that you can take forward in the future? We'd be here all day if I was to sit here and tell you everything I've learned from Tamika. It's, it's been an honor to be able to play under her. And like you said, I've learned so much just over my seven years being here. She is the ultimate teammate, the ultimate leader, the ultimate player. I mean, I, personally, I mean, I might be a little biased, but she's the best player I've ever stepped on the court with. And, you know, I think this year with her knowing this is her last season and I, we really want her to enjoy it and part of that is just kind of stepping up and taking some of that leadership pressure off of her you know just letting, letting her know that she doesn't have to carry it all and you know as we move forward we have a bunch of young new exciting players that are that are going to step up and be able to carry this team further. You mentioned it you've been here for seven years does it feel like there's any sort of passing of the torch this year at, from a leadership perspective? Um Tamika is going to be Tamika, you know, and I don't think she can help but lead. But I do think that she is allowing the opportunity for other people to step up, and I think that's awesome because there needs to be that that learning period. You know, people need to see what needs to be done and what what areas need to be filled, what roles need to be you know filled for us to go forward and continue to have such a high standard of you know success moving forward. We talked about you being a rookie and making an impact in 2009. There's a rookie this year in Tiffany Mitchell that hopes to make an impact uh, from, from South Carolina. What do you see from Tiffany? How can she help this franchise this year and going forward? Well, I don't. I mean, I don't want to get her head too big, but I honestly think she's cut from the same cloth as, you know, Tamika or myself or some a lot of the players that are that have come through here. Just tough, you know, willing to do whatever it takes. Can get on the floor. Will play both ends of the court. Knows the game. She has a lot to bring to our team, and I'm really excited just for her to continue to learn. Because once she gets a hold of all the learning, you, it's a huge learning curve coming into the league. But once she gets a hold of that and is able to show her talent within our team, it's going to be phenomenal. Yeah, let's continue that a little bit. Brene Mosley, have you mm -hmm. taken her oh. under your wing a little bit? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've stayed in her ear. The point guard position is just, it's so tough. Not saying that, you know, the transition is any easier from position to position, but as a point guard, you have a lot of responsibility. And, you know, I think it's a little different. And I've been in her ear, and she's done an amazing job of just picking things up. And she's improved daily, which I really appreciate. You know, just taking those little, you know, those little, in, those little tidbits that I drop in her ear and really putting them into action on the court. And she's doing a great job. Little thing, she's feisty. I like her. <laughs> I think the one thing, you know, people watch this, and, and you talked about the injury and playing overseas. I, I don't think they really recognize all the work that you guys have to put in um, to, to make a go of it as a professional, not not just in the WNBA, but what you've experienced overseas. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, year, it's a year-long grind, and a lot of people have been doing this for their entire career, which I could, you know, I could... I can't even imagine because I know how my body feels and I've 
I've had to take seasons off because of injury and that's allowed me to recover a little bit but it just it's a grind you know going from season to season you're playing you're playing a ton of games and if you're overseas in Euro League then you're playing multiple games a week just like you are in the WNBA so that's year round of multiple games a week and you know if you're lucky you'll get maybe maybe three weeks off in a year like you know total three or four weeks off total in between seasons and you know, it, it's tough and you really have to take care of your body. You know, everything from, you know, rehab to being aware of your rest and how you're resting and what you're putting in your body. All of those things really, you know, they they will make, it, make or break your career, really. We'll leave you with this. One thing that really stuck out to me in the playoffs last year was just the confidence that you guys exuded. And I know that comes from a lot of playoff games. We just talked about it. You've been in the playoffs every single year. But as you hit important regular season games down the stretch and hopefully playoff games down the stretch, how much of an advantage is is some of this experience that you guys have on the roster? Um, it's huge. It's huge. And I think last year was a big step for players like Shanice Johnson and Lynetta Kaiser just to be on a team like ours and gain that, gain that experience. And I think a lot of our confidence not only came from our experience in the playoffs, but just the work we put in. All season, we were focused on getting better one day at a time. Every day, we want to become a better team every day. And that work, that focus, you know, that that really direct line of like you know where we wanted to go really gave us confidence because we were like we know where we're going to we're, we're going to do what we're going to do we know we put in the work trust our work and get it done and so hopefully we do the same thing this year and catch our catch and stuff and our whole coaching staff and our team were really on board and i like the group that we have all right well brie uh, heal up quickly we look yep. forward to seeing you yes. on the court here hopefully Thank sooner you. rather all than right, later thanks brie yes